guys, welcome. It's Fallout 4. We are going to try and get some of these smaller quests yeah. done up. Let's see if we can, one, go find Piper. Hey, Dance. Do you have any quests for me? Ready to continue our mission, soldier? No. No problem. Let me know when you're ready. Alright. I've also I've, I've put a, a, some, some more stuff up here. Come on, Dance, get out of my way. Oh, come on, dude. Oh my gosh. I'm, I want to shoot you in the back of, of your head. Because I think Piper's up here. I really do. God, he's still standing there. Uh, there she is. Good. Yes. Hey, Piper. Never thought a reporter could consider themselves a success until someone threatened their life. Me? I'm very successful. Piper. Heading my way? You sure you want to travel with me? Well, it's that, or get back to writing the paper. I guess the paper can wait. Okay, hang on. Let's go. Will do. Taking Piper along. Well, if your journalistic nose sniffs out a good revolver and some matching earrings, be sure to keep me in mind. <laughs> yeah. Shoot. Clothes, weapons, jewelry. What else you need? <laughs> Alright, let's send her to here and see if we can do this whole... Old blue. All right. Why are you calling me that? Because of the blue jumpsuit you're wearing. Fair it's enough. So here's the deal. I want an interview. Your life story in print. I think it's time Diamond City had a little outside perspective on the Commonwealth. Besides, I'm already following you around. Might as well get some quotes while we're at it. All right. Here's your headline. Local woman says no. Gonna be like that, huh? Smart ass. Fine. We'll do this later, but oh, I want dang that it. Look alive. Ha. Huh. Ready for that interview, Blue? Yeah. All right, Piper. Good. Let's get down to business. To so defeat the Huns. How would you describe your time on the inside? My family and I were frozen. I didn't spend much time in the vault. Wait, <laughs> they boxed you up in a fridge? The whole time? Are you saying you were alive before the war? Yep. Yes. I'm over 200 years old. <laughs> oh my god. The woman out of time. So, you've seen the Commonwealth, Diamond City. How does it compare to your old life? You're all living in rusty shacks, killing each other, and... Oh, my God, the smell. <laughs> okay. well, that's gonna be a fun one to quote. Oh, look how many people don't like it. I'd like to do something. <laughs> I want you to make a statement to Diamond City directly. The threat of kidnapping is all but ignored in the Commonwealth. Everyone wants to pretend that this doesn't happen. What would you say to someone out there who's lost a loved one but might be too scared or too numb to the world to look for them? Boom, baby! And kill him. Boom. Simple as that. Yeah! Anger over apathy any day. Sweet. Good quote. Thanks, Blue. That's everything. It's gonna take some time to put this all together. But well, half and half so far. Oh, no. Anyway. We should probably get going. Oh, two and three. That's unfortunate. Okay. Nice. Got that. Now, where is Audrey? I gave Audrey a beast mode weapon. I'll try to make myself useful. <laughs> no one wants to see a grown man feeling sorry for himself. Uh, Audrey, are you downstairs? Hey, girl. Hey. I have to say, the entertainment value of this place leaves something to be desired. Oh, I'm sorry. Alright, let's go. Let's head out. Then let's be off. Alright, we'll keep Piper here. Nice. Okay, so we got that done. It's father. Okay, so let's do both of these, which is the prude one. Also, ooh, level up? Level up. Um, ooh. 
get that bit that bad boy so I couldn't repair this power armor uh, I couldn't repair the some t60 B stuff that I had in there on that frame so far the only piece of power armor I've been able to repair is the bubble stuff and I, this uh, is this the 45 no this is the 49 can we do can maybe I can repair the 49 let's see if I can repair the 49 before we go I also gave myself a combat helmet nice stance likes that good for you let's go over here This is just a frame. Let's move the frame. And let's go toss this in. I need a right right leg and a left arm. Right leg, left arm, and a helmet. T49 is all the way down. T49 helmet, left arm, right leg. Okay. See, it's not going to let me repair this either. Why not? I have all of this. And look, it has everything. There's all the junk. Maybe it has to be broken down. Maybe it has to be broken down. That must be what's going on. Can I... I wish there was a way I could... Oh, I, I know how to do that. And that's just... That's to take everything here, drop it on the ground. And then manually... Uh, like we did, it's like the second episode where we deleted everything in town so hmm looks like it's back into the T45 and the only reason I would do this is because I'm going to go to the Prid one first talk to Max and then just jump down so we can avoid uh, avoid a loading screen all right I want to leave the fusion cores in those other ones that must be why it's doing that all right so let's go to the Prid one. Let's talk to Maxon. Let's see what he has. Come on, come on. There we go. Okay, nice. There we go. He's up in here. Do you like my power armor? I'm supporting Vault Tech. All right, where are you, Maxon? Oh no 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 no. I like the music for this place. I received word that Dr. Lee is returning to us. How cooperative do you think she'll be? I don't think she's going to be very helpful. Huh. That's a shame. That's because she's going to be dead soon. Well, given the proper motivation, I'm certain she can be persuaded to see things our way. As soon as Dr. Lee arrives, we'll interrogate her aboard the prison. She's been under the Institute's influence for the last decade. And we can't afford to take any chances. Now, I believe you still possess an important piece of data that Proctor Ingram is eagerly awaiting. I want you to bring it to her immediately. Gotcha. Once again, Knight, you don't fail to impress. Advictorum. Oh, no? Didn't even give me that? No Advictorum from you, huh? Fine. Alright. Let's go to Proctor Ingram. 
who is down below. This is why we brought the power armor with us. Ah, coffee, coffee. Coffee. Sounds very stinky, man. Okay, let's go talk to Proctor Ingram. This gun is able to take out this entire camp. By the way, I did that off camera and just like never saved it, but it was fun. So, but yeah, it, it can definitely happen. Here's your holotape, Proctor. Hope the data on that thing was worth it. Thanks. You know. It's good to see you're still in one piece. I wasn't sure what the interceptor would do to you. I wasn't worried. After all, I built the device myself. I have confidence oh. in everything I built, too. But that's because I'll only deal with technology that I understand. Speaking of technology I don't understand, I'll get this holotape to Proctor Quinlan. I'm dying to find out what's on it. For all we know, that's a recipe for death claw surprise. Well, it's the best we could do with such short notice. Mm -hmm. Before we jump to conclusions, let's see what Quinlan scribes can get off of it. I'm sure the Institute has all of their data heavily encrypted, so it's going to take some time to crack. After that, we'll have to see what we've got. There's no telling what we might have grabbed off their mainframe. In the meantime, I've got a new assignment for you. So, I bet you're eager to get your hands dirty on our new project. How much has Maxon told you about? He didn't tell me anything. Makes sense. We've been trying to keep it under wraps until the time was right. Come on. It's this way. Unless you're blind as a bat, I'm sure you've noticed that we've been building a gantry for Tarly. Maxon and Kells have been looking for something that'll tip the balance when we go toe-to-toe -to -toe with the Institute. Everyone Ooh. might be a big beast, but she's not built for fighting. That's where our new is. Liberty Prime. This storage bay has parts is what's left of Liberty Prime. The Brotherhood used it as a capital wasteland as a weapon against the army. It's the most advanced robot the Brotherhood has ever had in its disposal. Fortunately, Liberty Prime was destroyed in the line of duty. I spent the better part of the last few years piecing it back again. And if you think that was easy, try rebuilding a protectron while you're blind. Excuse me, Proctor Ingram. In order to get Liberty Prime fully operational, we're going to need your help. My help? I don't know a thing about robot repair. Why don't we leave the repairing to my scribes? You're going to be doing the legwork. Mm. Now, the good news is that we've got most of, of Prime's parts fully assembled. The bad news is that it's going to take more than a few rivets and some spot welding to get them working again. And the first problem is his CPU. It's fragile. Every time we try to feed power to it, it blows itself out. Whoa, how? What? I assume you can fix that? I wish it was that simple. If this happened to one of the robots on the Pridwin, I'd just swap out its fusion fire. As much as I hate to admit it, Prime's power systems are out of my league. Luckily, you were able to convince Dr. Madison Lee to return to the Brotherhood. She was on the original build team for Liberty Prime a little over a decade ago. I've already spoken to her, but she's reluctant to work on Prime for some reason. If you could get her down here to lend a hand with his power system, we can get the big guy moving. Okay, speak to Dr. Lee. Was she... Tell me she's up top, right? There's father. There we go. Okay, she must be on the prude one. You guys can we go back and forth and back and forth and back and forth. I wonder if I go to the um, railroad headquarters if they're going to be hostile to towards me since I we took out Bunker Hill and I led that attack. I kind of led the attack. I led the initial attack. And then after that, 
there were no survivors, right? Were there? Eh, maybe? Shouldn't be. You gladly lay down your... Mm-hmm. I already know what you're gonna say, and it's alright. You're, an, you're a, a, an NPC, so you don't get a choice. You have to do what you're told. I, on the other hand, have to work within certain rules of the game, but still have more choice than you, sir. Especially because I can just turn this all off. Boom. Winning. Attention. This is a reminder. Any recovered historical, technological, Ooh, I bet you or she's social up top. documentation should be delivered directly to Proctor Quinlan. Oh, I should do that too. That is all. I bet you she's up here. Nope, I was wrong. Kadoosh. Nice. Take that fire extinguisher. If you're here to talk me into working on Liberty Prime, you can forget it. One of us is a liar, and it isn't me. Oh, don't try and pin that nonsense on me. I said I'd come back to the Brotherhood, and I have. But you neglected to mention that I'd be asked to work on Liberty Prime. I've been down this road with the Brotherhood before. Why would I make the same mistake twice? If not for the Brotherhood, do it for Dr. Virgil. You remember Virgil, don't you, darling? Oh, I like how she just it came out of nowhere, all bad. dramatic. What they did to Dr. Virgil was cruel. It was wrong. How could I be so blind? You really know how to push my buttons, don't you? Yeah. Tell Proctor Ingram to get her scribes ready. It's going to take a hell of a lot of work to get Liberty Prime I'm back setting on. you guys up so hard. Get it done. Okay, good. Glad I'm in the power armor, because guess what we're going to have to do? Jump back down. You guys got me running back and forth, and back and forth, and back and forth. Why haven't you guys figured out cell phones? You guys haven't figured that out? Did cell phones not become a thing? They never actually talk about that, you know what I mean? They never say anything about long-range communication and how it's accomplished. Is it all done through computers and through computer networks? Because that doesn't seem like a thing either. Because I don't ever see any sections about what's being accessed by other systems on, on you know, all, uh, other entry points on the net. You know, like computer terminals, consoles. You don't hear anything about that. Here we go. I got her to come down here and work on your stuff. Proctor. Well, things are off to a good start. Isn't that right, Doctor? I hope so. Prime suffered some significant damage to his memory core. I wish your people would have been a bit more careful, Proctor. The good news is that the damage isn't irreversible, and I should be able to get the power flowing into his CPU core without overloading. If Boom. People stay out of my way, that is. Bam. Charming, isn't she? Mm -hmm. Maybe I should come back later. It's fine. Don't worry about it. We might not be the best of friends, but we'll get the job done. Besides, Dr. Lee's worth all the aggravation. We're working with one of Prime's original designers. I don't see it getting any better than that. In fact, since things are going so well, we're going to have you start building as electromagnetic actuators. Huh, makes sense. You'll need powerful electromagnets to get his arms and legs moving. That's exactly right. Well, well, you're full of surprises, aren't you? What we need you to do is build the actuators for us. Even if you know what the actuators are, you still need to know how to make them. These are the plans and the materials list. Don't lose them. Now, before you get that look on your face, You'll be happy to know that we have plenty of the raw materials on that list right here at the airport. The only thing we need you to head out and find is a high-powered magnet. According to Proctor Quinlan, the best place to find one is in any of the ruined hospitals around the Commonwealth. Any We've already sent out a few teams to find the, the ruined hospitals. Magnets in these. They should be back by the time you return. Once you start building the actuators, we need one for each limb. 
So you'll need to make a total of four. Good luck. Okay, so there's one quest, or a series of quests. Uh, I could go do those in Good Neighbor. But it's going to lead me. Uh, Fault 88 Radio Beacon. This is an emergency broadcast signal from Vault 88. Authentication code word, impish. Vault 88 emergency classification. Unspecified integrity breach warning. Any available Vault Tech personnel are required to respond under Emergency Protocol VT76. This signal will repeat. Okay. There's that. Go do f talk to Father. I think I'm going to wait for that, though. I think we're going to start doing some of these other smaller quests. Caravan distress call. This is an emergency broadcast. Our caravan's under attack by hostile robots and needs some serious help. We're just east of Watts Consumer Electronics. If anyone in the vicinity can come help, now's the time. <laughs> Ada, loop this message. Yes, sir. Is that it? Okay, that's that. Support the Brotherhood Recon Team. Talk to Jack Cabot. Oh, yeah. Okay. Let's, um... You know what? Let's go to Diamond City. And let's get a few more quests. There's a few things we can do. Uh, f we'll go talk to the Bobrov, Bob Bobrov, whatever, B O B R O V, Bobrov brothers, and then we'll go up to the uh, third rail. I think that's what it's called. All right, let's go this way. Huh? Yeah? Huh? Okay. What? Huh? Yeah? Yeah. Huh? What? Yeah. Huh? Well, that was nice. And fast. Uh, oh, here we go. Right. Uh, all right. Oh, yeah? Tell me. Diamond City of Radio is terrible, yes? It makes you want to cut your own ear. Whoa. Have you not listened? This DJ Travis, he's terrible. Makes me want to go back in time and prevent radio from ever being invented. But him, it's true. Don't listen to my brother. Someone needs to get rid of him. We need a new DJ for the radio. I don't think many would notice if he, you know, disappeared. Now, the first time I, I got this, I was like, okay. He wants me to kill the DJ. And now check this out. Sounds like a good idea. All right. Now, it has to be done quietly. No fuss. Maybe we come out of town. Murder. Oh, yeah. Should never That's enough. sound good. But him isn't serious. He doesn't really want to kill Travis. I'm not stupid. I wasn't falling for it. We weren't trying to trick you or anything. But him just tried to joke. And then see, there, like, it doesn't matter what you say, they don't, you don't actually get the ability to tre kill Travis. And you're like, wait, what? Dude, that, the very beginning, that sounds very serious. It's like, what? And now they want to help him? And then the way they go about helping him is so... And so he's always awkward. He does not believe in himself, you see? He expects he will fail. Anything goes... 
Something like that can be tough to change. No, it's easy to fix. I tell you, Pim, over and over. Go on, spoil sport. Go back to working. We will figure out how to help Travis. Come, you. Meet me in back room. Come, you. <laughs> so if you guys have ever seen Indiana Jones and the Temple of Doom, the female character, the mo the song she's singing at the beginning in Chinese is this song. <laughs> she just sings it in Chinese, I want to say. I could be wrong. What's up, buddy? What do you want, Vadim? I am glad you are doing good job. Unlike my dead beat brother. Travis is good guy. Travis is good guy. I haven't agreed to anything yet. Let's not go patting ourselves on the back. Okay, okay. But listen. Travis would get great confidence from winning bar fight, yes? <laughs> You've been in fair share of them, I can tell. What does that have to do with anything? Apparently, Vadim hopes to have you beat the confidence into him. <laughs> I ask because I want you to help Travis win his first bar fight. Think you can do that? I want to stay fight here in the... Give me money, give me money, give me money, give me sure money. Travis wins and feels good about himself after. I want you to be there to help make it look real. What do you think? Sound good to you? Money, 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 money. Okay, I have this. No. I have contacts. People, okay. They confront Travis. Right. And you and Travis. Okay, ask me about money. Right? Ah, there it is. If the goons are getting paid to fight, I want some too. I am not made out of money. <sighs> hey, Vadim. Ah, yes. Oh, never mind. We've already taken it. <sighs> well, that stinks. Okay. Ooh, is it still daytime? I hope it's still daytime. Nice. Okay, cool. You hear about the battle between the Brotherhood and the Institute? The one at Bunker Hill? People got killed or something. Well. Science! Um, sure. Sure. Sounds fun. Yes. Love that enthusiasm. Now, we all talk about radiation like it's a single thing, but it's actually a term referring to dozens of different ionizing rays. You have X rays, beta rays, gamma rays, but. Very which smart. One are we most worried about? Uh, it's gamma. Years ago. Gamma rays. Now, gamma rays are bad, really bad. If your body absorbs too much of that kind of radiation, you'll suffer from fatigue, anemia, even death. But Ooh. some life forms have been living with gamma radiation exposure for two centuries now, and they've adapted. Neat, huh? Yes, very interesting. That's what science is all about. Nothing stays the same. Everything reacts. Now it's time for the field trip portion of today's lesson. Are you ready? Field trip? That's right. You go out, do some science of your own, and come back. I usually have a prize for the best junior scientist, which I guess is just automatically going to you. What do you say? Here we go, give me Monday. You're gonna go out and find a bloat fly gland. You see, the oversized bloat fly of today evolved from an earlier species of a smaller fly. Yes. Radioactive adaptation has resulted in a unique. I think it has probably one of the largest growth spurts because of it, like its proportion, like how many small flies it would take to get that. Come on. 
fine. Get the land. Remember, don't want to talk to me anymore now that you're not going to actually give me what I want. I want money, and more importantly, the persuasion check and the experience that comes with it. You're cheaty. Okay. Is it, it's not after six yet. Which... Let's go this way. Take this, just so nobody tries to get into it. Anything I can do to help out? Ah, the industrious type. Hmm. Help me clean out the water supply? You won't believe the junk people throw in there. Overloads the filter. Depends. What's Give me money. Job the hundred caps. Pretty like you. One twenty-five. Come on, my time's worth more than that. Come on, on. there we go. I'm on it. Just don't drown. I'll never clean your cartridges out of there. Okay, now I'm actually going to go to Data and this, just to highlight it all because it's kind of a pain sometimes. All right. Pop that bad boy back in. Thank you. You know what, kid? I like you. Not for 611 caps. Huh. <laughs> oh, you see, I'm playing around with some spawning. I thought I was doing that on my other accounts. Okay, guess not. Well, whoopsie. Okay. Done with all that. I don't want to wait. What else we got? Oh, you know, I said I was going to go to the third rail. Maybe there's something else. I hear you've been asking questions around town. You got a problem? Let's go. Take it easy. I don't think she wants to leave just yet. Hey, this is between me and my wife. Why don't you mind your own damn business for once? Oh, God, Paul, why do you always have to make a scene? Pour me another drink, can you? Damn it, Darcy, I just want you to come home. I'll be home. Later. I can't believe you'd do this to me, Cook. Do what to you, Paul? You smug bastard. You keep away from my wife, God damn it. I like how she, Audrey's already chilling. Before you do something stupid. Son of a bitch. Don't hurt him, Henry. Oh. 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 Go on. Get out of here. I'll be at home, Darcy. Taking care of our son. I whooped. What is it? It's really none of your business, is it? 
Darcy, don't be rude to my customers. Sorry I had to see that. Things are usually a lot quieter around here. Perfect place to drink, if you're buying. So, is this your place? That's right. Owner, bartender, sympathetic ear. I try to provide a little oasis from the hardships of life. Hmm. Name's Cook, by the way. Henry Cook. Let me know if I can get you anything. Okay. I'll think about it. Not a problem. Okay, so sooner or later, Paul will come up to us. Be like, hey man, come help me out. And I'll try to convince him that I'll, I should go alone. Alright. No I'll do what I want. I'll shoot you. Okay. Is that... Is that it? No. Uh, there's also one more thing. Hey. You there. I am. Um, oh, there's Paul. I have a question for you. Go ahead. I'm listening. You were in the tap house before, and... You got your ass kicked by your wife's lover. Yeah. <laughs> Pretty pathetic, right? The guy's sleeping with my wife, and I can't even do anything about it. So, where do I come in? I'm going to go back and talk to him, and I want you to come with me. Do you, you saw? even know me, you won't dude? Take me seriously otherwise. You How do you have to know really that? I want him to leave Darcy alone. Here we go. You're gonna have to make it worth my while. I don't believe this man has any money. Who else is wise? Don't have a reason to cheat. Oh. Well, okay. I can only pay you 80 caps right now, but I'll scrape together more after we take care of Cook. This'll work better if I Come talk on. to him by myself. You're probably right. Ugh. I'm so angry at Cook, I might lose control. Just get him to leave Darcy alone. I'll make sure Cook gets the message. Good. Don't kill him if you don't have to, but otherwise, I don't care what you do to him. Huh. He deserves to suffer for what he's done. Well, I'm not gonna beat him up, cause you're jealous. There you are. Hey, Bobby No Nose. I like how you're overcompensating by Bobby Huge Trash Can Nose. I see that. People like me are loud around here. Now let's get down to business. That big wall of glass looming over Diamond City is the mayor's office. Most people don't know it, but there's a strong room buried beneath. Mayor's just sitting on top of it, and that's our target. The guy has it coming, if you ask me. With how he treats my kind, maybe he deserves worse. Let's okay. get started. I like your attitude. So, what do you say we make this party a little bigger? I managed to track down my tech guy. His name's Mel, and he is right here in Diamond City. The guy can make a gadget to solve any problem. Thing is, he's a bit locked up right now. You have to get him out of there. I can't just stroll into Diamond City security with this face. Like I'm supposed to be able to just stroll in? Tell me about this security office. It's built into some old locker room. This isn't a do I do I get a problem. some get money? A Just get him out of it. Okay, no, no options for persuasion. Here we go. Hey guys. You guys just hang out. My bad. Sorry, I spawned all of you. Okay, let's save. 
Hey, bud. out of here. Load and quick save. Alright, I already got the key. You're leaving. Quick save again. Are you coming? Nice. Wait, no. Hang on. Yeah, okay. Good. Both of them. Sweet. Okay, so got Mel. Boom. The Science Center has been instrumental in helping maintain Diamond City's power, robotics, and agriculture. Well, they are. I mean, she knows about the different types of rays. Radiation forms light at different frequencies. the river. Super you watch your step. Got my eye on you. poking around the thing. Diamond City's house. Mel. I'm curious what this is about, but let's talk once we make some distance, okay? Thanks for getting me out. So, you're Bobby's new toy. Yeah. This year's hottest gift. Get one before they're gone. I don't really do the whole gift thing. That would require having friends or family. God. That woman doesn't have a patient bone in her body. I wasn't serving a life sentence here. What, she couldn't wait like a day? What's the job? Bobby can fill you in on the details. Yeah, cause I'll get so much out of her. Bobby may be shady, but she always pays up. Oh, she's shady, so, huh? I guess I'll get my stuff and head over to her place. Well, that's good to know. All right, got that done. Broke up with my girl. She kept a cap off a toothpaste. Oh, who does that? A synth. A synth. How right you are, sir. How dare she. Look, that arm is great, don't get me wrong. But how the hell do you, you know? How do I poo and pee in it? I get out. Don't be late. Yeah, yeah, I'll be there. I just have to close up. What's up, punk? You got a problem? We need to talk, Cook. Oh, yeah? Is there some kind of problem? Maybe. Paul Pembroke sent me to sort things out. You've got to be kidding me. <laughs> Paul sent you? That weaselly little shit never could solve his own problems. No. I told Paul I'd get you to leave Darcy alone. Nothing personal. Just business. Nobody tells me what to do in my own place. You better turn around and walk out of here while you still can. Mm. Think this through. Darcy isn't worth dying for or killing for. Yes, especially given how expensive that relationship will be. You know what? You're right. This whole of course thing I'm with right. Darcy and me. <clears throat> Bad idea. I admit it. Not like I planned it or anything. She mm -hmm. was just always hanging around here. You know how it is. Look, women are always after me. What can I say? 
I swear, I won't even let her in my bar anymore. Is that good enough for you? Nope. A promise isn't enough. Well then, what do you want me... I have an idea. Something I've been thinking about for a while already. Kill two birds with one stone, you know? Let's hear it. Here's the deal. I have some other um, businesses on the side. Oh, the dude, the, One of the guy that was just in here. Latimer spent his dad oh, money it to make is. Feel like a gangster. I like the part about the money. Me and Nelson are supposed to be meeting some gentlemen from Good Neighbor to exchange Nelson's cash for their chems. My plan is simple: we take the money and the chems. I don't know. An awful lot of unknowns. Trust me. Come on. We can do this. No problem. Oh, I think uh, <clears throat> I do all the uh, the the persuading afterwards for the split. Okay. They'll never know what hit them. I'm in. Let's do this. Now you're talking. I promise you won't regret it. In a few hours, we're both going to be sitting pretty. Okay. Let's leave. Can I find Paul? Uh, let's see. Let's see if I can find Paul. Oh, there you are. What is it? Bye. Uh, Wait, what? Okay. Bye. What? Cook won't be bothering Darcy anymore. There we go. Good. I knew you could handle him. Oh, and I managed to scrape together what I promised. Here. It was worth it to get Darcy back. So Oh, an extra fifteen. Give you any trouble. Nothing I couldn't handle. Okay. I don't care what you had to do. Just as long as he leaves Darcy alone from now on. Anyway, thanks for your help. I'll uh see you around. Cook has a plan to make us both rich. Ambush a chem deal set up by him and Nelson Latimer. Interested? If you think it's a good idea, I'm in. Cook owes me. Big time. I just hope you don't screw this up. The meet is near the back street apparel building. Let's go. Don't worry. This isn't my first rodeo. My first rodeo. Okay. Got that done. That is not six yet. Let's go ahead and... My bad. Take that. Take this. Small arm, long arm, ammunition. Wait for an hour. Travis will be at the the dugout. Buy a swatta. All right. Want to do something fun? Run the bases. Press. Here we go. I'm only here for a dream. I don't like you, and I don't like your radio. What you gonna do about it? <laughs> What? What's this about? Oh, what's wrong? Not so tough once you're not on the air. Ho -ho! Let's go to inventory and. What? What? What's this about? Maybe I don't like your little radio program. What you have to say about that? You tell him. What you looking at me for, Haas? Can you just leave me alone? Maybe I don't like your little... Hey! What's your problem? Oh, I guess I have to get involved. Looks like you're having a disagreement. Look at the smart guy we got here. Sit. 
If you really were smart, you'd take a hike right about now. Now get the hell out of here. Hey there, pal. Oh, it's you. I'm here to give you a hand. Because I gotta talk to him. I keep forgetting who I need to talk to for this. Trouble. I don't like you. I have no idea what I did to deserve this. I just wish they'd go away. <laughs> Come on, man. Take a stand. Don't chicken out here. I, I don't think I, I could uh, do that thing that you're describing. <laughs> With these men, it could, well, it, it, could, it could turn violent. Don't be such a coward. I'm not a coward. I agree. You must have a spine somewhere if you're brave enough to go on the radio. <laughs> okay, that's well. I like you. That's enough. Oh, I'm sorry. You say something. I said, I said that's enough. Leave me alone. <laughs> Look at you. Hmm, Look at that sniper rifle I gave her. Sounds like you were thinking about saying, or else. <laughs> were you, Travis? Were you gonna say, or else? I'm wondering what comes after that. What you gonna do, little man? Uh, I'll beat you up! I'll Did beat you, say, you up. Travis, I'm gonna destroy you and your friend here. Why am I doing this? <laughs> Bullshit. This is bullshit, man. This is not what I signed up for. This ain't over. You hear me? Travis. There you go. Oh. Nadine. <laughs> I think that was well. <laughs> Ready for the next part of full group plan? There's another part? Good attitude. It's nice indeed. You have seen Scarlet, yes? She has worked here for some time. Now, I am just simple about it, but I see things. I see how Travis looks at her. All right, you want me to hook him up? Someone who was. I gotcha. I could have a chat. <laughs> yes, just do whatever, and you and I. All right. You have marvelous balls. Stop by. She is, I want to say, out here now that all this is happening. Hey, you were the one that walked that freedom trail. I did walk the freedom trail, yes. She should be. Right there. Actually, I'd like to talk Travis. Did he did he mention me? Yeah, I heard about the fight. Travis was uh, Yeah, absolutely. You should really pay him a visit. You think? I mean I definitely noticed him. How? Maybe No. No, I couldn't just go over there. How have you noticed him? Look, Travis is a nice guy tell that you like him and I think he likes you just go talk to him okay I will I'll go see him now thanks hey I'm not saying I want to shoot him. all right let's keep going keep going and boom oh whew. All right, run, run, run. Come up in the stands. Let's just say they can afford a lot of clothes. Noodles are the official eats of hey, Diamond please. City. This you should try trouble. some. Oh, I knew. I knew it. It was up to no good, and look what's happened now. You've got to help. I can't do it. You've got to help me. Take it easy. It'll be 
all right. Just tell me what happened. They took him. <gasps> they took Vadim. <gasps> Those men. The ones, the ones that he paid to have beat up, and then when they got beat up, they got mad. <laughs> oh. Well, he didn't pay. Please tell me you can do something. I'll bring him back, Yafin. Count on it. Please just bring him back. He's an idiot, but he's my brother. Yeah, he's pretty dumb. Someone has to stay here. Talk to Travis. Maybe he knows where they took him. Oh, really? We're gonna do the actual Bean Town Brewery next episode, but I want to go talk to Travis before we end this. Since I want to try and finish everything that we need to do in Diamond City all in one fell swoop. The Diamond City Chopper. Pretty chummy. I do what I want. Okay. What's going on? Oh, look at you, big stuff. Look at this trailer you got going on. I need your help. That's not funny. I'm not joking around, Travis. This is serious. I'm Wait. Oh. Let's just, yeah. Uh, totally your fault. Yeah, this is absolutely your it's fault. It's not. It's Vadim's fault, but whatever. My dear, welcome to life in the Commonwealth. <laughs> Check your innocence at the door. Aww. Look, I don't, I don't really. If Vadim is missing. Whatever. All right. I'd welcome the help. Good. I did. I yeah, he he wants to come with me. Yeah. He's gonna oh. get a gun. Okay. Oh, he's got the girl with him. What up, girl? All right. Okay. So yeah, we're gonna call it here. Hope you guys enjoyed. See you in the next one. Plumeria Plus. Com. All that fun stuff. Later.